Uh, am I live now? Come on, Twitch. Yeah, I am. Okay, welcome back to everybody. Some more Twitch Court Seal 3 today. We're continuing the story. You know, day two of the Heimdall exercises. Let's load in. But yeah, we're back. Uh, probably going for about a half hour to 40 minutes again. We'll see. Uh, everything set up. I should be good to go. All right, seven sixteen, seven a.m. And uh, Twitch likes buffering, apparently. Come on, Twitch. There we go. Should be alright now, we'll see. I think we captured there's three agents today, there wasn't- Eh, okay, I butchered the hell out of that line immediately. Okay, let's fix that. After we captured the three agents yesterday, the rest of them have got, have become even more rare. Our reports say that a large number of them have collected their listening equipment and entered the underground tunnels. Yeah, so soon as the su summer festival start, starts up, we're going to lose them in a swarm of Taurus. It sucks, but the only way we're going to avoid that is using the martial law in the Imperial Army. But if we bring the army into it, it'll be no, long, it'll be no longer matter whether the agents are dead or alive. We need to consider international opinion too, not to mention it would cause the citizens to panic right before the summer festival. I'd much prefer to sell this with the rest than tanks. Agreed. Well, working on the main campus in the guild will snatch them up one way or another. The entire branch campus will unite to take care of this crisis. Thank you. I thank you for your support as well, Lady Le Guin and Professor Schmidt. Set a few new special requests I'd like to take a look at later. Understood. Please contact us if anything comes up. I certainly will. Thank you. Alright, let's go over our plans. As of this morning, the, the professor's communication wave amplifiers have been set to both the main campus and the guild. First off, Orlando's team and mine will split up and go to the unexplored tunnels in the west side of Heimdall. There will be seven, there will be a new communication network while we hunt down the spirit of the Republic's agents. Arresting. We're arresting them. Seems like they got a crazy new gear called Ramda. However, it appears it's only recently developed, so they're not yet mastered its use. Its use. With the general and Orlando in the field, I'm certain a platoon or two will be no issue. True, but on the flip side, if they got any more guys than that, there's no guarantee you'll survive. Oh? I suppose I won't hold back then. Um, the safety of students should be our top priority. So please try and make sure you, you rest the agents. Thank you for contacting us, Major Rondell. If there's any further movement, please let us know. You got it. Well, good luck everyone. This operation, with Class 7's new and old, uh... Well, on that subject, you got to talk about a lot of things yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, what are your friends be doing? They split up across the state to gather information. We might have found something, so if we run into any of them, we should check in. Got it. So if we're trolling the entire city. Well, we need to determine where the agents are headed somehow. Alright, day two of field sizes has begun. Let's get to it. Our time limit is 4 p.m. If the agents are not apprehended by then, martial law will be invoked. We will have results by then. The sirens won't be ringing today. Yes, ma'am. Alright. Looks like that's uh, Team A. There's Randy and Toa's team, I guess. I don't know, they're doing their thing. This seems pretty serious. We're up against the coward special forces. I'm sure we'll be fine. Now, yeah, Sprint's mobility and Instructor Randolph are both very experienced. Tia's orbital gear will probably be deployed in an actual battle as well. 
I'm going to participate in the test tank. <laughs> this is going to be fun, so let's do this patrol in the city. One second. Okay, let's check those requests. I think it's dry as a stress. Students at St. Stride's Girls School have been facing a rather serious issue. We are too short-handed with the deal with ourselves, but we would like to ask you for our help. Please meet with the school, with the school student council president for more details. So, Elise. Precious Cargo, the Heimdall Airport received a package with no address on it. Are you asked for your help? Please contact Simmons in the airport cargo for more details. A dangerous monster has appeared beneath Heimdall. City Hall formally requests monster extermination. The Mega Kraken. No, it's West Heimdall if you can spare the time to patrol Heimdall Airport and the Crow and Pillar Villa. A quest from the girls' school? I'm patrolling the Heimdall Airport. Seems like we should go to the Crow and Pillar Villa as well. Yeah, maybe if I had some clues there. Taking into account the two places we didn't check yesterday, we need to patrol every block. Alright, let's begin the second day of our special ass missions. Yes, sir! Yep. Maybe so we'll, so we'll progress when we do two, at least two quests. Uh, do, do I have all the moon truffles? I do. Okay. Sandy, where are all the ingredients? This is everything you need, right? The appearance, the aroma, just that memo the, the recipe said. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Who uh, you are? Yeah, there's the moon truffles. Wow, you found three. Thank you. All right, let's get cooking. Uh, there we go. All right, should be here cooking. Ah, so she called you, you and Tia over too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Man, that smells amazing. Yeah, it sure does. Hmm, we'll be finished cooking soon. Alrighty, all done. Bon appetit! It's the ultimate dish passed down in my hometown, Ulster. Lenheim Risotto. Lenheim? Huh, I feel like I've heard the name before. Oh, could be. Well, let's put that aside for the moment. Dig in while it's still warm. Alright, let's eat. Thank you for the food. Oh my, one plate and all of our plates will suddenly pick clean. How do I even describe it? The flavor and the smell were both so deep. Agreed, I expected such a magnificent dish. But a little too light to me. Definitely good though. Yeah, it was amazing. But you said it was called Lenheim Risotto. That's the same name Prince Oliver uses when he dresses as a performer. Oh, that's where I remember it from. Well, actually, there's a reason for that. The truth is, the one who created this recipe was named Ariel Lenheim. She was the late mother of Prince Oliver. The prince's mother? That's a bit shocking, actually. So you know the prince, then? Uh, sorry. I didn't really mean to keep it from you guys or anything, but... My hometown, Ulster, is also hometown Prince Oliver's mother. So it was where the prince grew up. Oh, I see. I had no idea. I had I. Certainly, certainly my brother would have known. We know that you and the prince share a hometown, but... How'd you end up with the recipe from the prince's mother? You see, also is a very small town out in the countryside. Everyone who lives there knows each other. We're actually one big family. Miss Arrow used to help out my family's in it all the time. It was there that she wrote down the recipe and passed it down to her family and left us her notes. I see. It all makes sense now. Thank you so much for the food. Sure, Miss Olive would have liked to try it too. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so if I ever had an opportunity, I'd love to prepare this for him. We sure let him know next time I see him. Aw, oh, thanks, Tia. Oh, by the way, there's still plenty left over. Pack it to go, so please take some with you. With pleasure. Alright. Einheim Risotto. I don't know why I said weird. I don't know. Anyway. Guess that's the deal. Oh, you're going to leave. Hang on.
Oh, I had some sneezes. Good thing I caught it in time. Oh, so you're gonna head to the villa by bike? What about the wanted monster in the ground? No, it'll be faster if we ride the special train from Heimdall Station to the villa. Since the one. Hang on. Alright. Since the water monster is on the ground, we need to head out from either the cemetery or the race course. Arrangements should have been made should have been made that will allow us to deploy from either way. Speaking of which, there was there weren't several forks in our path we didn't take during our chase yesterday. Indeed, the water monster must be looking at one of those. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Let's get a move on already. But first, let me go to Vesta Street. We got people to talk to. Okay. Uh, oh, the Bracer Guild has a uh, ma main thing. Got it. But we will do all the uh, side stuff first before we do the aim the main stuff. So first I'm going to go to the Herschel shop. There she is. Hey, baby. Well, if it isn't the little branchlings, I've heard the whole story. Crazy thing that they might actually enact martial law, right? How are you privy to all this? Well, the army told me to keep keep it quiet, but... How is there so poor in the summer festival with all this going on? I even heard they found a listening device in HQ. Yeah, we don't know if it's related, but... Like I said, crazy. I can't just sit back and let it happen. Listen, everyone. I'm going to help out however I can. We can work together and put things right. Glad to have you... We're glad you got our back, Vivi. But stay safe. It's dangerous out there. I can see her following us underground if we didn't stop her. <laughs> oh, please. I wouldn't go that far. I just came by the entrance to the underground. Please don't. Next up, we go to the Leica district. Oh, uh, you had the Leica Lloyd Company. Is this it? No. Can't remember. That's Reval, so the next one's Leica Lloyd. Is he over here? No, but someone else we know is. Right from Emma, you were able to meet Emma from Emma from Old Class 7, right? Congratulations, Rain. Yeah, thank you. You had to work, Dorothy? Yes, the museum is closed with some festival preparations, but... I have to be there st starting in the afternoon. It's unfortunate, because sitting here really heals me. Heals you? Oh, a tender arm touch? It really turns my pages. I think the hobby is still very much alive and breathing. Oh my god. Are you watching those two? Uh, I'm, I got, I got off track. Hold up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kenneth. I'm meeting with my father again tomorrow to make preparations for the exhibition match. That said, he's always like this. I think he's finally, I think he's especially high strung with a party tomorrow. So much stress over who's there and who is, isn't attending. You know, all I plan on doing is fishing. Uh, I was thinking Annabelle was here. Guess not. Now we need to head to... Uh, where I go? Vancure. Yeah, we got things we gotta do. Alright. Anything else we know around here? Nah. Go to the apartment store. Where is he? I'm seeing. I want to check names if we know anything. Don't know them. At least I don't remember them. Uh, no. Uh, where is he? There he is. Hey, Thomas. Oh, uh, ah, this taste makes me so nostalgic. Oh, if I recall correctly, this chef's, this chef's parents are the ones who work at Thor's main campus. <laughs> no wonder. Oh, you're that weirdo scholar we saved yesterday. 
Dr. Thomas, what brings you here? Oh, I'm just here to meet someone, but who can wait on an empty stomach? She was hoping I'd be able to play the role of me as well. Is this the same person he was going to meet yesterday? I'm not sure. We well, no need to bother him. Now, let's be off. This who I think is? Yup. I think he's going to make some sales pictures on Vancouver Street today. It's hard being a door-to-door -door salesperson. I reject it all the time. It breaks my heart, but unfortunately, we don't have insurance for that yet. You ain't getting insurance for a broken heart, sorry to tell ya. Okay. Let me head over here. Uh, there it is. Hey, Jingo. Alright, 20 more, huh? Then the price is gonna be 20% higher. And if you're late, I'm hitting you with a penalty harder than any weapon you, you ever sell. Got it? I get it, I get it. You have a hard bargain, Lily. The kids are in the exchange shop and leaves. So she's here. At least in the middle of negotiation. Ah, Spanish campus, folks. Ain't you playing tag with those Calvardians or something? How's that going? Shame, I'm trying to hide it. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to keep that top secret? Uh hmm. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing about what the army's up to. Good luck out there. I suppose she's cheering for us? Isn't it particularly encouraging? Anyway, thanks for not getting involved in all this. Hey, hmm? hey that plush you've got there. Isn't that from Mishi at Work series? Oh, I do have a Mishi plush with me, but... What's this Mishi at Work business? What, really? You don't know? Sheesh. <clears throat> My voice died there. Mishi at Work, after a series of unfortunate circumstances, Mishi finds himself penniless and lost in the Empire. Instead of to build himself back up, he tries his hands to do different jobs. Real two jerky entry to the Mishi series. Uh huh. I'm really into this story thing. I didn't realize Mishi stories got so in depth. There's a total of seven of these Mishi at work plushies out there. It's like you don't get the true worth, so I can't take them off your hands. If you find a seven sign of them, bring them to me, I'll give you something nice in exchange. But only if you find them all. The whole set, not one less. You got that? Huh? Sounds like you really want these plushies. Yep. So, do I, I think I have it? Let's see, does the guy say which ones? They don't, okay. Yeah, Vans Masters. I got some good stuff. Uh, I know that. But first let's sell. Hmm? Done already? The Mission Work Plushie Series. Looks like I got all seven. Should I give them a Jingo? Yes. Hey Jingo, I collected a whole set of Mishi at work plushies. Would you like them? Oh nice! Yep, this is the whole complete set. No doubt about it. Good work, you're shooting for a basic customer now. Happy to hear that, though I didn't know I was competing. Right, so like I promised, I got a reward for you. Here you go, don't go, don't go faint for how amazing it is. Oh, is this from a different set of Mishis? Yep, the Mishi Arm series. This is a success story of Mishis rise in the military after going through so many jobs. I, I see. That's limited edition. You can't get it so easily these days. But I got extra, so take it. It's yours. You're lucky I'm going out of my way to be nice for you. For once, be grateful. <laughs> Thanks, Jingo. Uh, what else can I get? Uh, none of that's really worth anything. Hmm? Don't want to buy something? Uh. Oh, I got all the peckies. I could get that. Uh, I still need a tropical pecky. Damn. Uh, let's go do that. Where do I get a tropical pecky? Hang on. So let's deal three. Where to get tropical pecky? Oh, it's in the airport. Perfect. That works. Also, in the proverb, swift wind. Where do I get that? Uh, swift wind. 
Oh, I can just buy that, I think? Alright. I need a noble watch. This is gonna be an iron chaser. Uh, noble watch. Oh, I can buy an implies a Bifrost. Perfect. Come on, buy some more. I'll be back. I'm trying to get all these good items. See where I go? Uh, the Pantos. Where is it? There we go. Yep. Uh, nothing else I really need here. So. Evergreen always helps, but. Eh. Wow, this up speed. Holy shit. I might put it on green, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm tempted. I am tempted on buying this. I'll do it. Okay, so we got the Noble Watch, that's no longer a concern. Trunkle Peggy's at the airport. I need to find an accessory shop for... Hmm, you have it? No, you're a drugstore. Just in case. Energy Pecky, I don't really need. Yeah. Let's see, can I get it here? I got Solid Mountain, I don't need that one though. How are you? Nope. Okay, I'm out. Well, I try to figure out where to get this uh, Proverbs book. If I can still get it, anyway. Let's go back to Jingo. Let's see, da da. Oh, I got. Damn, I can't get. It's that Carnegie back in the. Back at the leaves. Damn. Wanna buy something? Come on, buy Wait some more. Wanna it's buy on, something? Is it in the bargain bin? Nope. I tried. Come on, buy some more. Wanna buy something? Come on, buy some more. I got some good stuff. Uh. Yeah. So sadly, not getting the swift wind. I. Sh Damn, I'm so mad I missed it. I got the crystal on, watch. Buy some more. Maybe I can still get it somehow. Let's see, it's not a dry goals. Where could be a place I could still get it, possibly? No. No. Yeah, I don't think I can still get it. Dang. Anyway, I uh, did that. Yeah, let's put on the new accessories. Uh, yeah, Bish Shadow, that, that really ups the speed. Uh huh. Oh! Green is not overpowered. See, what does any of these do? Okay, let's see here. So all this does is really the same things. Let's see. That ups EP, but I don't really care about her EP. But this really ups her strength in ATS. I actually can put that on Ash. Oh no, there's Swift Wind. Okay. Never mind. 
I it was on Ash. I didn't realize it was. No, sir, Bryce. I got Shame. some good stuff. Come there we on, go. Buy some more. I thought I got it at, at one point. See, look, there's no swift wind. What is Wardale? Oh. Put down, you know. There we go. New items for everybody. Now I just need to head to the airport for the last item, and then it we'll be, should be all right. Okay, da da. Oh, if you have mirror to spare, you can also buy all the Mishis again and save them for the next playthrough. Really? You can rebuy all the Mishis? I'm not gonna do all that because I don't know where my next playthrough will be, but. Uh, then we had Sock District, we gotta head to the cathedral. So now we just need to head to the airport for the last accessory and we got all the powerful ones. Oh hey look, Claire and Million. But I don't need to talk to you guys right now. Uh About ten years ago we had this really wild traveling sister. She was beautiful, bold, and lived on the edge. Always smoking cigarettes whenever she wanted. What I remember most is vividly the incident at the department store. She came across a thief and stopped him instantly. So that, she started preaching to him right then and there and, talk, and talked him into converting. I'd love to see her again. Do sisters like that really exist? Think someone I'd love to meet. <laughs> Definitely. I want that- I, I, I need to know that reference. I don't know that one. It's only about a wild sister. I should tell Monk about her. That's a reference to somebody. Uh, where's Monk? Yep. Uh, okay. Now, oh, uh, West Ostia Highway. Oh, uh, where's Private Mitchell? Mickle, I mean. Marshall Law? Really? Ura! I'll find those spies before it ends evening for sure. Only to try passing through, that is. You know what I think of? I found this book yesterday. You can now say we keep it. Kept it in lost and found, but no one's yet to claim it. Today's the last day we were able to hold it. We have to take it? Huh, guess I'll take it then. Alright, we got Harless Edgar Chapter 9. Now, we do actual quest st stuff. We gotta head to the race course. Alright. Take a look around, nothing really. I was looking for interesting people. The horse racers, I'm not really too concerned about them. Got a 10. Oh, we're getting ready for another race? Uh, anyway. Any old faces we know? We know Yusus and Machias. Machias, Yusus. Oh, hello. Looks like you've already started. Hello. You guys taking a break here or what? No, we were exchanging information with our affiliates. For me, it was the Ministry of the Railways and the Heimdall Bank. For me, it was diplomats from Libero and Remiferia. Apparently, there were secret listening devices all over the place. I understand the Ministry of Railways and the Heimdall Bank, but... The Liberian and Remifarian embassies, too? Truth isn't that surprising, considering there were nearly, nearly a hundred spies. Why is so desperate for information? This is you guys were talking about. You have something, don't you? Yeah, but it's only speculation right now. I can't tell you, you just yet, but just think about the military's preparations you've been seeing all around you. All around us? Giant fortresses, the, the cannons. 
like the painted soldats and the railway cans, excess mobilization of the Imperial Army. Is that what you mean? Uh, heh, I think I see it now. I'd say Calvin suspects the Empire is up to something serious. They're trying to figure out the truth and timing behind it all, right? Huh. You can read that much? You're pretty imperceptive. Huh? What does that even mean? Even at my clearance level, I don't have access to that sort of information. But if we go by the assumption, we can start to glean what the spies are up to and what, why they're here. Nevertheless, there isn't any concrete evidence at the moment. We don't, at the moment, we don't have any probable cause. That's why we need to find and arrest these spies. We can't afford to drive them to the point where they force us to take, a, take them out. I see. That's quite the balancing act. But the structure is right. Yeah, we don't want to plant the seeds for even greater conflict. Hmm, you, you all may be further along as class than we were two years ago. In any case, we are planning on continuing with our meetings. I'll let you know if we uncover more information. Good luck with everything. Yes, and you too. Thank you. Alright. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Phew, I got a little too heated yesterday. Remember the main event of the summer races. I'll, be sh I'll take it. I'll take it easy today. Put some money on the 2 5 exacta. No, wait, maybe 3 2. I'm expecting the horses before the summer races tomorrow. <laughs> Any racing fan would go to these lengths. I wonder how Alina Bloom is going to do. We retire on a high note or. So we don't really know any of these other people. Oh yeah, so Lino Bloom is racing again? Let's head to the MVP, M the uh, VIP area, see what's going on over there. We're just exploring at this point. The nobility seating. Do I know any of you people? Yeah, I know you two! Oh, it's Patrick. That's Ferris too, is it? Who's came to Heimdall? Actually, I've been invited to this party City Hall is throwing. I figured I may as well use the chance to meet up and trade information to Old Class 1. From the sound of it, those of you in Old Class 7 are finally able to fulfill your promise. It's not fair that only you ones able to get who get a reunion. Fair enough. Haven't you been sharing info like this for a while? Indeed. Ever since I was serving on the Marquis Ballad. The moment I set foot in Heimdall, I began hearing suspicious rumors. Is your party t tomorrow? Is going to be alright? Well, the deadline is 4 p.m. this afternoon. But if they run martial law, pretty good chance there ain't gonna be no party. Heh, <laughs> I thought as much. Let me know if there's anything I might be able to help you with. I can't do much in the open, but I can gather info behind the scenes. Thank you, too. I'll be counting on you. Of course. Good luck, everyone. May I just be with you. Yeah, I don't know anyone else here, so... So where else we gotta go? Uh... Yeah, let's head to the terminal. Whoa! I'm getting a call. What do that could be? Let's have the speaker mode. Hello? Reen? Instructor Schwarzer, what is the status of your special ops missions? They're calling from camp. We've begun our patrols to each area. Guessing everything is ready on your end? Yeah, we finally got all of our ducks in a row here. We're about to leave camp, so we thought we'd be checking on you before we left. Understood. Now those guys are kind of us to make sure they don't screw anything up. Please take care of them with the military finance as well. You be careful yourself, Randy. Of course I will, Uni. Same to you. By the way, it appears the main canvas has begun its own investigation. He's underground to us and focused on making progress above ground. Understood. May the guys go with you. Good luck. We've asked Celeste to take care of things here at the camp, so he'll be here if you need anything. We'll be in touch if anything happens. Time to commence the operation. Jessica and Luis are helping track the special unit. Hope they'll be okay. Don't worry, they made it through just as much as we have. Uh, not really. I'm sure with Pitbull Lagrin and Instructor Randy there, they'll be just fine. You're right, let's have faith in them. We need to focus on our own duties now. <laughs> no need to tell me twice. Let's get going. This is a long loading screen. There we go. Huh. 
Heimdall Airport Lobby. Man, the airport is huge. The lobby alone is bigger than Crossfell's entire airport. Oh, it is the biggest airport in the Empire. Heard they just completed renovations to expand it earlier this year. Yeah, so I wanted to offer direct flights to Crossbell, Jurai, and Haliask. Airships and trains have become integral parts of these travel infrastructure. Safe to say, their popularity will continue to grow at an alarming rate. <laughs> Even their tickets are still pretty pricey. It's, pr it's uh, pretty crowded here, don't you think? That's because the summer festival is approaching. The number of inbound flights from abroad must be staggering. We can go out to flight deck, so let's add to our patrol. Understood. See anybody we know around here? Uh, I don't know him. I don't know his. Do we have a quest from him? Uh, got to look at. There we go. Notebook. Yeah, we do. Okay. We're not gonna do that yet, though. Where are they? Oh, they're on the deck. Okay, let me figure out though. Where do I get it? Uh, is it at the shop here? Yep. Uh, oh, Jesus. Where are they? There they are. Hey, it's Gwen. Oh, hey guys. Ah, is that who I think it is? It's good to see you again, sir. My word. I nearly didn't recognize you. Has it really only been a year and a half? I've seen your face in magazines and such, but they didn't do you justice at all. You've become quite the young stud. I can't say I blame Elisa for wanting a piece of- Ugh, grandfather! <laughs> You're Elisa's grandpa? Then you'll be the former chairman of the RF group, sir. Gwen Reinford. That's right. I was chairman until that demon daughter of mine drove me out. But I'm sure if I told you I'm an old acquaintance of Schmidt's, that might land a bit closer to home for you all. Oh, I see. None of them in the crazy old scientist club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ooh! So this is the new Class 7, eh? These cuties are just as nice as the ones in your old class. Gwen, stop it. The pink-haired one has some nice proportions. And the silver-haired one is like a porcelain doll. Hello, FBI. And I can tell at a glance, this young thing here is one spicy little devil. Grandfather? Uh, um, well... Students obviously to introduce themselves to Gwen. Excuse me, y'all diamonds in the rough. Rain and Lisa, take care of these kids. Be sure to polish them into dazzling gems. Of course. My voice cracked. They've <laughs> uh, uh, only just started working together as a team. Well, we've got a ton of work ahead of us. What are you two doing here? If I remember correctly, you said you were helping Gwyn with his errands, Lisa. Yes, I'm also going to check the airport's records and security system. Earlier, I found both a listening device and micro camera hidden away. That's worrying. So tracking our every move. Play a little bit what's going on. Seems pretty serious. From the sound of it, what's going on behind the scenes even more so. Uh... On top of all that, I hear Angelica has gone missing too. I'm sure Lord Ragnar's worried sick. Ships on my contact think they've seen her. Thank you. I don't think her disappearance is related to the Calvarian agents though. Most likely, just might just stay at the cemetery. Without that, I asked Mother and Sharon to take a look into things. Forge's disappearance too. So I'm sure we'll have some information for us soon. Got it. Thank you. Gwen, Lisa. An airship will be landing at Dock 3 shortly. It's here. Perfect. Right on time. That sound. Is the sound of his engines? <laughs> That's right. And it's the sound of it's all too familiar with the residents of Heimdall. 
The Imperial airship, built with Liberian technology. That's right, the high-speed cruiser, the Courageous. It's our old ship! It's our old ship! Uh. Hey! Prince Oliver. Felicitations, members of the new Class 7. Felicitations? Google? Words of expressing praise for achievement or good wishes on a special occasion. Okay. We meet again, and so soon at that. Truly, this must be the will of the goddess. Hey, Viscount. Never heard felicitation before. Oh. Salutations, everyone. You're not Kurt, Altina, and the newer members, Musée and Ash as well. It's lovely to see you again, Your Highness. Yeah, you should look at the Bosch's prints, all right. Come on, Ash. I heard the crimson rings are high alert to carrying Heimdall's skies. I see. You were you with them, Your Highness? Indeed I was, after half a year's absence. If anything that's going on, all the courageous crew have been returned abroad. Aboard. That's abroad, eh. Imagine now is the opportune time to gather all, all, all of our resources. There have been reports of unidentified airships flying over the central part of the Empire recently. Our primary objective is to prevent them from entering the capital's airspace. I see. Could it just be the Sai, but most likely it's Calvert. To come back to airships, technology is more advanced than the RFs. Wait. Is that what you're here to talk about? Yes, Gwen has been our advisor since the Courageous was completed. We need to talk, to, talk about our plans regarding these Calvardian airships. That being said, once, or, once we're resupplying, we'll be leaving. That should be about 30 minutes. Martial law goes into effect at 4pm. I like to avoid that. Yes, certainly capturing one of those ships would be a good way to discover what's going on. We should recommence our special ops mission, sir, too. Prince Albert, Viscount Arsade, can we count on you? Yes, understood. The branch campus, the main campus, the old class 7, and the guild. I have connections to all of them. I'm counting on you to take care of the city and the underground. Leave it to us. Of course. Yes, your highness. Alright, let's talk to them. Uh, whoa, why am I in high speed? From the sound of it, you were finally able to reunite with all your scattered classmates. I'm happy to hear it. it must have been quite the wait. Thank you, Your Highness. But it wasn't all of us. Ah, uh, yes, true. Crow Armbrust. He was from Jirai, yes? Back when he was independent? His story and Jirai's are both truly heartbreaking. And regarding Jirai, I've heard some particularly unsavory rumors about the circumstances behind his annexation. There's nothing I can tell you about that right now. But I can not I can say I won't let this trend continue. And I'm glad to hear it. The ship should be ready to go soon. Hopefully we can meet again during the summer festival. Yes, Your Highness. With us here, don't have no reason to clear martial law. Agreed. Please be careful. Uh, what's Viscount, I gotta say? Can I even talk to the Viscount? I don't think I can. There we go. The issues we suspect are from Calvert, all things that spells stealth functions. A typical military ship may find difficult to deal with. We have our best option is to courage us to patrol the skies. If they have a single airship between the skies, that's a dangerous mission. And it's a good thing the courage is so reliable. Indeed, who in disguise to us? Marshall will be invoked at 4 p.m. Everyone stay alert. Alright. Now we head back to Vancouver Street, to the weapon shop, and make our last trade with Jingo. Oh! Man, what a, what a beaut. No matter how many times I see the ship. Oh, I can't read it that fast. What are you talking about? He was just on it! Where are you missing his old departure? Let's we'll drop this up let's we'll drop up this inspection. Yeah, good idea. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. Be right there.
Does that voice sound familiar, everybody? I got some good stuff. And now we can get this, which gives us that. Oh, that HP boost. Come on, buy some more. Holy hell. Let me see. If I give that to Reen, holy hell. It drops to 20 speed, but that health boost, though. Actually... Give that to Yuna. Look, she has lost a half half health now. Should I give this to Yuna or should I give it to uh Ash? Huh. I don't really need Kurt to have it. Cause he's basically my tank, right? So yeah, I think Ash would make sense. He's, he's my tank. Okay, uh... Let's see here. Let's head back to the exercise camp, actually. Uh... We want to heal up real quick. There we go. Where do we go now? Uh, Draco's Plaza. Uh, let's see if we can find any familiar faces, too. I know there's a quest over there. We're not going to mess with that for the moment. Uh, oh, there's Annabelle, and there's the other two we got to talk to. Finally, today the exhibition match, I'm a trick toys, no matter what. That being said, I feel awkward being back at headquarters. The whole engagement debacle caused trouble for the family, and the head of the household doesn't like me. Kind of still nice to me, but. Who's doing magic in the middle of the public? Okay. Not like you're trying to keep your coven a secret, right? Hmm. Was this by any better? It's no use. The man is starting to act like a whirlpool. Yeah, almost like someone's trying it in. Either way, this isn't good. Come on, don't you think it's too occult for us? Emma, Laura, what's going on? Looks like you've already started. I'm, I'm going to support Emma today. It's just a spirit of veins around the capital, but since last night there's been an alarming amount of turbulence. It's similar to when the Infernal Castle showed up a year and a half ago. Really? Um, wasn't it during the Civil War? The mirage that I went on the, the capital saw? It was a mirage. I saw it very clearly. I said that I from the girls' school. Many people have vague memories of the inc incident. I believe it's sort of a like cognitive manipulation. Anyway, the Vermillion Knight was at the core of making the Infernal Castle from 250 years ago reappear. I think this time the circumstances are very different. What do you mean? I don't know, but the capital is often a focal point for events behind the scenes. There were incidents from the Knight Touch 50 years after the War of the Lions, for example. Knight Touched? Ah, some stories call them vampires, but we call them night-touched, or knocked familiar to be more precise. They are fiends who corrupt humans and turn them into their own. Hey now, that sounds too much like something out of a fairy tale. But, there are a lot of stories about vampires in the capital. Indeed, like Fred Moon Rose novels. Oh, I think I borrowed those from the library. The basement incidents that happened in the capital 200 years ago. Hmm, what is it? N nothing there was also that thing that happened 900 years ago. Capital was surrounded by Miasma, and it came out of the worst cryptid to ever live. The Dark Dragon Zoro Aguruga. That name. Two years ago, those of us in Group A fought in, fought in the Capricorns. 
Hey, it's that big thing. You fought it before? It's being controlled by an artifact related really by a terrorist leader. Yeah, the demonic flute. That means the bone of dragons is all that remains of it. Yeah, the dark dragons may asthma turned the capital into a sea of death about 900 years ago. The emperor had to move the capital south of the St. Ark. 100 years later, Emperor Hector activated Testarosta and defeated the dark dragon, who claimed the capital but at great cost. Covered in the dragon's blood, he lost his life and the night was cursed. That about covers it yet, right? You were well informed, Rain. Thought the knowledge would only pass down orally by the witches. I got to witness it firsthand. But now I see. It's all connected. Yeah, everything was hidden till now it's coming to full view. I think I'm getting dizzy. Magic night and deployment of grass from yesterday might have something to do with it. Do with it. Yes, the spirit veins seem to be stimulating the scarlet plum of grass to grow. If that's true, we have more than just spies to worry about. I don't like this occult crap. Thank you for all your help, Emma Lauren Celine. I'll update you with any news on our end. Alright, good luck. Thank you. Be careful, all of you. Okay. Uh, where we go now? To the Bracer Guild. This is Irving. Do you read me? It seems the connection went through after all. Hello, Principal. Major, that unclear. But Major, if you have to camp, then are you both calling me at two different locations at the same time? I'm currently serving as a backup for our team. Our current status is as follows. Principal search team has detained seven of foreign agents from the underground. We're in the process of handing them over to RMP. You've killed me seven of them? Phew. We have hard enough time to with three. That's our principal. No one was hurt, I hope. Everyone is fine. The agents, however, are behaving strangely. In what way? We didn't see signs of the usual acceleration you know before. They didn't use Randa, whatever you call it, to conceal their presence either. We made quick work suppressing them. Change only began after detaining them. Several cannot speak or behave as though they're afraid of something. Them? Afraid? That makes no sense. You sure it wasn't just you who made them piss their pants? I'll admit, I was expecting a little more out of them. Just keep in mind we're doing the same. We'll do. You be careful. I'm so glad they're okay. Well, what they said was weird. What made that special force change so rapidly? Nothing we can do about from here. Let's leave the investigation to them and keep up our work. Yes, instructor. We had your union here just last night, correct? Looks like the guild's doing all right for having been stomped out, out of the country for years. Hey, you got some customers. Hey, Toval. It's them. Ah, perfect timing. Get over here to you guys. Uh, okay. Pardon our intrusion. So, hey, Toval and Agate. Got your new sevens with you, huh? Hello, Toval. Agate. It's good to see you again. Hey, are you guys at the Otto Street branch? If I recall, Hunter used to have two Bracer Guild offices. Yep, that one's risen from the ashes right alongside this one. We're testing out the terminals the Foundation gave us. I'm here too. Hey, Tio. Tio? All right, she is part of the Epstein Foundation. Came here on a business trip for the for, for the Foundation. Just arrived last night. Randy filled me in with everything that's going on. Yeah, it's a pretty tough situation. He's already agreed to help us out. Plan is to have a set up signal boosters for our comms network. That'll be a big help. Thanks, Miss Chief. Yeah, thanks. Don't worry about it. The guild has helped us align the past. You can lead the underground tunnels to the southeast of the city to us. Me and Toval and two other bracers and the lady here. We're on part of the A-Wing bracers, so we're pretty much like a special ask force on our own. That's pretty amazing. Wait a minute. I know one of the bracers that's there. I don't know who the second one is. Who would that be? I know Sherizard is in. I don't know who the last one is. That's frustrating. If you're all crazy enough, I'm surprised to go meet the open shop here again. And I'm sure they got some dashly up to motives, but we decided to go ahead with it anyway. That if the bracer managers damn the spies, they'll be subject to international law rather than put, being put in Erebonian custody. Or so they say. I'll go. I should be able to help out at least a, a little bit. Guy, please stay safe out there. 
Thanks for helping us in the main campus with us. Sure thing. See ya. Good luck out there with yourselves. It appears the British waste no time to take action. Sam and I deployed here. The others are in the southeast area. Telling how the main campus and branch campus will spill up. Told the told breachers are extremely familiar with underground exploration. Out of curiosity, where the other two breachers with you guys? One's named Wenzel. Oh, okay. The other one is, is one of Agate's friends from the Burl. He has a title, the Silver Streak. She's really skilled. Reminds me of Sarah in a lot of ways. But we were about the same age and have similar backgrounds. We had a drinking competition once, and she completely destroyed me. The thought is that there's someone out there that can, out, that can drink you under the table legitimately frightens me. But anyway, it sounds like you have things well handled here. That's right, don't worry your pretty little heads about a thing. Honestly, the agents probably aren't even the biggest threat looking around here. Not them, then who? What are you guys talking about? Ouroboros and the Jaegers. They may be laying low now, but it's possible they're just waiting for a distraction. Th that's... You're right. We can't... We, can't, we cannot be sure they simply won't act. We also don't know what sort of thing behind the scene. What things the behind the scenes groups like the Black Workshop are up to. When Jericho is missing, it's time to cover all of our blind spots. It's even the British Guild slogan is support the supporting gauntlet. Yeah. And why the Imperial Government and the Intel Division are so scared of you guys. However, at the time they're, this time they're relying on them. Yeah, please cover the places we can't get to ourselves. Yeah, just leave it to us. If something, if something comes up, contact me right away. I'm good to go whenever. And now, uh, we're going to end it there. I'm getting kind of like, my voice is giving up. I think I've turned off. I appreciate we back tomorrow some more stuff. Uh, tomorrow will be Valkyria Chronicles. Friday will be Trails of Cold Steel. I don't know if I'm streaming this weekend. We'll see about that. I'm unsure. But yeah, I think I've turned off. I appreciate it. And see you guys next time.